much for inviting us, Ash. This is really great. I um, wanted to say thank you for that. Um, also, thanks for everybody to be here and listen to us give this talk. Um, my name is Stephanie. I am one of the members of the support team at NPM. I've been there for about one year now. And this is Kira. And she is one of the most recent additions to the team. She's been at NPM for about two months.
emotional labor. Um, it, it may not be as easy as you, as you think once you get into it. Yeah, I mean, a lot of people might think that you, at, at least at times, it can feel like you're a replaceable cog in the machine in some ways. Like, anybody can do customer support potentially, or a lot of people can, so it's easy to find folks. And for those who don't see the slide, this is like a cog and an information disk person followed by a frowny face and then like cross eyes. <laughs> yeah, it's a sad slide. It's a sad slide. I'm really proud of this slide. <laughs> support team, there can be differing schedules, uh, differing, you know, shift work potentially. Um, it can be a really hard job just for those reasons as well, not just the, the content and the problem solving aspect. So now we're going to move into kind of like some red flags for once you, um, maybe you're looking to get a support role or you're already working in support or you're possibly want to advocate for your support team. What, what are some things that you might see within tech companies that are more negative. So, you know, did we decide who was going to go first on this one? I can go first. Sure, yeah, that sounds great. I learned while preparing this talk that doing a talk with a co-presenter is actually more challenging than doing a talk <laughs> by yourself. So this is going to be a little meta. It's going to be fun. We're, we're having a blast up here. <laughs> um, so, if your skilled coworkers don't get raises, after demonstrating improvement and working really hard, you know, showing up early and leaving late, that's a red flag. Yeah, um, maybe you might see a regular pattern of turnover. Um, I know one of the companies I worked for before coming to NPM, there was a, a pattern every three months, there was a turnover rate of more than 50%. And that's, that's a pretty big impact. I mean, you can think about how you might feel on your team if most of your teammates left and you were bringing in new teammates all the time. That's, that's rough. Another one, customer feedback and feature requests getting ignored. So maybe the support team is hearing about something wrong with the product, something that the customers aren't happy about, but it, it just um, falls, like people in the company don't pay attention to that in the product side, unfortunately. Yeah. And there's a difference between, you know, hearing things and saying it's not realistic and we're not necessarily going to prioritize it, and we actually don't care and we don't want to hear it, and we're looking at other sources of feedback. Support has a lot of feedback. It's pretty great. Um, yeah, one of the other things you might see is that there's not a lot of opportunity for growth. So you think maybe, okay, I'm in this new customer support role, I'm super excited to work at this company. I really want to learn about the opportunities, the other career traje trajectories that might exist. But there's no, necessarily, there's no outline for how that might look. And maybe the managers don't really know or don't really know how to prioritize that. Maybe the company is just not interested. Or there's separation between the support team and the rest of the um, company, such as the engineering team. Maybe they never talk to each other or rarely talk to each other. Yeah, we love it too. Yeah. <laughs> so another thing you might see, um, other teams in the company, or you know, this can happen internally and externally, but support might get a lot of blame for customers having a negative interaction with the product or you know, website or whatever. There's there's a lot of negative feedback that comes through support. I'm really glad some folks are nodding. Yeah, we see we see you. Thank you. Um, yeah, that's that's tough because we're always trying to do a good job and we always want to resolve things successfully and positively, but sometimes there's simply not anything we can do about a situation. And we still get a lot of blame. This is Stephanie's favorite one. So Stephanie, um, you should be grateful to have this job when you're oh told God. to be grateful that <laughs> you know, I gave you a job. <laughs> yeah, that feels really good, right? Everybody <laughs> likes to hear that. It's how does it make you feel? It makes me feel sad, and it makes me feel bad. I'm sorry. And a little bit mad. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, sometimes I've seen other, you know, other experiences might be, maybe the CEO comes around and checks on all the teams, maybe gets a status update, or kind of, you know, rallies the troops a little bit there. Uh, but I've definitely had the experience where the C team or the CEO mostly comes around to yell at us for not working hard enough or resolving things fast enough. 
Someone complain about support on social media? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what are you doing about that? This is really a big deal. Um, so the last one, my favorite one. Um, using the word meritocracy unironically. <laughs>
Um, another really awesome thing that has been a really, really impactful change is that now we're getting updates in advance of something getting pushed out into production. So if there's going to be a change...